The first road stage of the Jaco Herald Sun Tour around Hillsville saw a breakaway group of six form early and build up a lead of four minutes before the peloton started to reel them in with Will Clark, the race leader, ordering his Drapak teammates to do the chasing. With speeds reaching 90 kilometres per hour on some of the descents, it proved to be a dangerous stage. A near miss in the breakaway for Nicholas Katsonis, but no lucky escape for Lucas Hamilton of the quarter men the national team, who is now out of the race. Once the breakaway was caught and the peloton hit the final climb up Myers Creek Road, Team Sky blew the race to pieces as Chris Froome launched his first attack of the season. Froome was soon joined by his teammate and the British national champion, Peter Kenyak. The two worked well together to hold off the chasers, with Kenyak taking the win and the yellow jersey. Today was quite like back to work, back to business, you know. Um, we had a strategy and we stuck to it and it worked. And um, yeah, I've just got to take my hat off to Froome because there's a lot of guys in this position who, you know, wouldn't give the wouldn't help their teammates out like that and um, yeah it was just an awesome day for the team all around I guess it's nice to come to these kind of races and be able to race like this and it makes a nice change. I guess a really nice feeling also being able to give something back to Peter Kenyak I mean the number of times he's he's emptied himself for me out on the road and he's been part of both of my Tour de France victories it's nice to be able to do something for him now. Peter Kenyak now leads the race by seven seconds ahead of Froome Stage two is a 144-kilometre trek from Yarra Glen to Mowing.